There's nothing I wouldn't do for midwifery or midwives. I've been giving to this profession since 1980, and it seems like no time at all. You know, it's it really is a, a gift. And he said it earlier, it's a calling. I believe that it's a calling. The reason you don't get jaded and sick of it is because it's something so much bigger than you inside, dying to come out. And it's self-nurturing and self-sustaining and it's just ready to be plucked. I could talk to you for hours about the Frontier Nursing Service and what it meant and, and all of the uh, incredible experiences I had there. But when I was going out on horseback, the first thing I saw was people, the older people, would come and see me coming to their cabin and, and weep. And then they would tell me these heartfelt stories about the impact that uh, uh, various midwives had had on them and what they what what a midwife meant to them and what the FNS midwife had meant to the people in that area. Well, it's a wonderful job being a midwife. I mean, I, even in the, in the office, in the clinic, I mean, what kind of job do you get eight or ten hugs a day? I mean, that's, isn't that incredible? You know, you know, I initiate a lot of hugs, but I get them back too. And you think, what other job would you do this? And why would you want to quit? I only spent four short, long or short months there, depending on your perspective. And the reason I left is because the chief of OB, who was a very famous physician, called me into his office once and called me a brazen hussy to my face. And I thought, hmm, gee, I don't think I fit here. You know, I am aware that there's midwives continue to you know, struggle with old issues of really a lot of injustices and that they should keep on doing what they're doing anyway. I've delivered 7,000 babies. Well, hopefully I can hit, I can be do more than that. I definitely want to practice for another 10 years. So that'll be total of 48 years. So then if you practice for 48 years, maybe you should practice another two. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping that I'll be able to. As long as I can live and get moving, I'm happy to do it. I mean, I love it. I would die if I didn't have it. Midwifery has been my nourishment, my spiritual life, of course, and my religious life is foundational to who I am. But midwifery is what drives me. Yeah, it's a good place to be.